Welcome to my RC room this evening. My name is David. I'm going to be sharing some tips on how to remove uh, seals and shields out of bearings. Um, we've got three different style of bearings down here. We've got a uh, one bearing with a rubber seal and then we've got a bearing with a, a metal shield that's removable and we have another bearing with a metal shield that's not removable. And tools I'm going to be using for this is one I've got a sewing needle and uh, Two, I've got a hobby knife here, and the next tool I'll be using is an awl. Um, I actually made this one myself. You can buy those if you'd like. We'll just get uh, right into uh, removing some uh, seals. First uh, seal I'm going to remove is a rubber seal, and uh, I took uh, my hobby knife and I broke the tip off and uh, resharpened the blade down to a point, and also I dulled the knife so it's not actually real sharp. This helps prevent uh, cutting the seal when we remove it. So let's go ahead and we're going to stick uh, the knife right in between the seal and the inside brace real gently. Get under it just a little bit. We've got to get under far enough we actually can lift up. And as I get under it I just lift up like that and uh, the seal's off of this bearing here. Okay we're going to uh, remove this shield off of this bearing here. It's a removable shield. It has a retaining ring around the outside edge. And what we're going to use to remove this uh, retaining ring is a sewing needle. We'll find that there's an opening here, and uh, once we find it, we can get right behind the retaining ring and just gently go around like that, and uh, the ring's out of this one. Um, sometimes you kind of tap it on the table or might have to just use something to help kind of pry it out just a little bit. I'll just take my needle here and lift inside here. We'll get this. Uh, We got that uh, shield right out of that bearing there. Next we're going to uh, remove a, a shield that's not removable but we're going to remove it and what we're going to use for this is an awl and I'm going to place the awl right on the outside toward the outside edge of this bearing and, and push down lightly and it'll punch a hole in the shield and then we'll pry that shield right out of there. And there we have that. That shield's uh, removed and it's exposed bearings for us. Well, I hope this information is uh, useful to someone. Um, and we'd like to say a special thanks to you.